Pete Zielinski with Modern Machine Shop Magazine. I am here with senior editor Matt Danford. Matt, thanks for talking to me. My pleasure. Uh, so Matt covers a beat for Modern Machine Shop. Matt writes about digital technology, including technology that in many cases is not quite there yet for manufacturing, but is coming. Um, he writes about this in his regular monthly column, Data Matters. And what I want to talk to you about today is what you're seeing about the role artificial intelligence might have for machining facilities. Well, there's certainly a lot of buzz about that. Um, most of the readers that we visit, it seems like something that's, that's far off. For now, they're really interested more in uh, machine monitoring than machine learning. Um, whether they realize it or not, though, uh, you know, machine monitoring is really the first step because the real promise of machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence, is, is data analytics, um, at least as far as our readers are concerned. And uh, machine monitoring systems, um, also uh, shop management ERP systems, provide the raw data that you need for that analysis. So it's really sort of um, a first step, you know, whether they realize it or not, to uh, capabilities that um, you know, are still yet to come. Okay, great, 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 great. So let's dive into that. Machine monitoring, um, that's the step that's in place today. What do you mean by that specifically? So uh, basically just, you know, pulling data directly from either the control itself or sensors mounted to various uh, components on the machine tool. Uh, and, you know, this can be used for, you know, things like preventive maintenance. Uh, the most common applications we see are people pulling CNC data just to see how their machines are performing. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we walk into shops and we see that more and more, like monitor displays right. with pie charts yes. or green, mm -hmm. red, yellow displays. Yeah. What does it take to do machine monitoring really well? So most of the experts and shops I've talked to, uh, there seems to be a real emphasis on like sort of patience. So, you know, don't expect everything at once. Um, just sort of uh, take it slow. Uh, so when I visited recently, they just started out, you know, just basic goal. I want to know um, what's running when. Uh, and this isn't just on the manager level. Um, you know, they actually, uh, through integration with the ERP system, and uh, had a, a pacing bar. Uh, installed at each workstation so that the operators and the people you know setting up the machines and running the machines could could tell where they were at this is how many parts uh, I'm supposed to have produced by now uh, and so it sort of helps everybody just get a gauge on where they're at and starting with that basic goal uh, things like definitions being on the same page what does it mean to uh, for a machine to be in cycle do you count tool changes as part of that time. Yeah. Um, you really got to get a handle on stuff like that because if you roll it out without these basics, um, you know, people can get disillusioned and you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. Why is this valuable? We're still on machine monitoring here, but why is machine monitoring so valuable? You know, as I said, first just to get a, a gauge on where you're at. So, um, you know, I've heard a lot of experts comment on, you know, they go into these uh, technology suppliers, they go into these shops and they install these systems and the shops are just shocked. Uh, that they're not doing as well as, as they thought. And uh, so you have to confront that reality. You know, it's, it's really about uh, truth. I mean, you can't argue with data from a CNC. There's no fat fingering that. There's no delay in between when the event happens and when the information is entered into a shop management system. Um, so it's really about, you know, eliminating your own biases and enable you to take a, a look at as you're, you're performing in reality and make decisions from there. Yeah. So now you talked about this path uh, from machine monitoring to machine learning. Um, What's machine learning? And, and talk about that path a little bit. Uh, so machine learning uh, is a subset of artificial intelligence. The definition is really encompassed in the term learning. Unlike a traditional computer program that can only do what you program it to do, uh, machine learning algorithms uh, improve with time on their own. Uh, so the classic example is an image recognition system. And as you feed it more images of, say, dogs and cats, uh, it gets better over time with the more data you feed it at differentiating between uh, what is a dog and what is a cat. Um, so, you know, applied to our, uh, our sector, the, uh, the machine shops uh, that we write about, uh, the real promise here again is data analytics. So they'll be able to comb through the raw data provided by uh, machine monitoring systems, shop management systems, et cetera, and find patterns and correlations in that data that uh, either would be, would certainly be inobvious, maybe impossible to detect by a human, um, and, and would certainly require a lot of time and effort to, to sort of get to the bottom of otherwise. So uh, anticipating the point where there's enough data coming out of these machine monitoring systems where it's too much data um, uh, to make use of day to day and potentially masking good intelligence that's there to be found. Absolutely. 
Um, and we don't know what's coming yet. We don't know what capabilities are going to be there. You know, I've talked to a lot of ERP providers that are working with machine learning, and, and but um, a lot of it is still sort of forward looking. But we do know it's coming, and uh, the, you know the best thing to do now is is um, you know get these systems up and running, and um, you know bring your shop management uh, into the 21st century, I guess. All right, so Matt, what is your sense of how close this is? How close are we to artificial intelligence in the form of machine learning being an industrial tool, being something that we use in manufacturing? That's really difficult to say. Um, you know, as I've stated, everything is very forward looking. There's a lot of hype, justified hype, because it's going to make a big impact. Um, but yeah, if you think about it one way, um, you know, the extent that manufacturers use Google, that's an industrial tool. And Google's already employing uh, artificial intelligence in its search results, and nobody talks about that really or that's not a uh, you know there was no big announcement hey we're, we're having artificial intelligence driven searches um, and I think it could be in my opinion at least it could it could come about that way I mean this stuff is just gonna start showing up in your software and and uh, ideally AI runs in the background the whole idea is to sort of automate mental tasks so if you have to pay attention to it and actively manage it I guess it wouldn't really be performing or doing what it's supposed to do um, so I think it may be like that. This stuff is just going to start showing up and we're just going to be using it without even really realizing that we're using it. Mm -hmm.